Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host with the most show boy, BX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great show. Today is going to be a Naruto uh, manga chapter breakdown, 626 Hashima and Madeira Part Two. Uh, this led. This was a great ending. It was. It was really good to see it finally come to an end. Uh, part Two series of this whole entire story. Uh, it started off with Hashima still wanting to reconcile, uh, work with your boy Madeira, and uh, you know he pulled out his shotgun, not to start a fight, but more of a, as a threat, and to let him know he's going to accomplish his dream. He's like, "Tell me your dream. You know, what is it? Maybe we can get there together." And Hashima, I mean, not Hashima, Madeira wasn't hearing that. He he had no intentions of doing anything better than what he has done in the past. He is going to continue to do the same old thing. He's going to continue to be the evil person that we all know and have come to love at this point. Um, you know, it's, it's just going to be an ongoing battle. Uh, you see, finally, Madeira has left the village. He has left the, 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 the leaf village behind. Uh, Konoha, he put it behind him at this point in time. And all you see is uh, a lot of symbolism in the panels this time. Um, that Kishimoto was trying to convey to us. Uh, you see your boy uh, standing alone uh, on top of his own mountain. Uh, he's just like, you know, with his legs crossed, trying to embrace everything that he's trying to create and trying to figure out why is his friend so evil at this point. Uh, he really doesn't know. Uh, soon after leaving the village, the battles continue. And since he doesn't have his, his brother in, behind him at this point in time. Uh, somehow he required the Nine-Tail Fox. And I guess it really doesn't matter how he required the Nine-Tail Fox. There's always somebody who had or knew about uh, the Dinjurikis or the Bijus out there. So, you know, they're, they're, a, a, uh, they're a symbol of power. So obviously he acquired it somehow. It doesn't tell that story. And the only person who could tell that story is Madeira. If we ever get the chance to hear that story. Uh, he's coming back. And they're having monstrous battles uh, over and over and over again. Uh, we get to see this this uh, this jutsu of your boy Hashima uh, that he holds his own against. Um, you know the nine tail fox, and it looks like some type of statue figure. It's kind of hard to tell with the black and white. Uh, it's going to be something extremely interesting when they actually bring this cartoon, uh, this manga to life, and then the anime or the cartoon or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it's going to be really, really good. It's going to be showing us something we've never seen before. Uh, and it kind of explains how the, the, the Valley of Death, I think it's called. If I'm wrong, leave a comment. Tell me what it is. Um, but, you know, the, the end valley, the valley where they last fought, uh, whatever the case may be. And they were both going toe-to-toe. -to -toe you know, 100%, you know, going in at it. Um, and I guess, you know, one of them, you know, it looked like Madeira had the, the one up on uh, your boy Hashima at one point. And he's like, you know, you, this time the tables have turned and, uh, you know, I'm, you're the one that's down and not me. And, and I guess Hashima's trying to think, okay, this is what I want to do. Am I going to end it? And then, he ends up using a clone, a wooden style clone jutsu. Gets behind your boy Madeira, boom, stabs him. He's like, "How? How could you have gotten behind me?" You know, those eyes don't see absolutely everything. For whatever reason, he didn't see the jutsu of that just being a clone, and that's supposed to be one of the, the abilities that they're able to detect that with a shotgun. gun. And he was unable to do so. So your boy Hashima had some real skills that I, that unfortunately died with them. That's really the most irritating part. But they died with them. Uh, the only thing that Lady Tsunade got was the, I guess the 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 jutsu where she can reanimate her cells or you know whatever the case may be, like her like her grandfather. But anyways, um, <laughs> you know, so he's standing there. Basically, he's making his announcement that he's going to do it. Whatever it takes. He doesn't care whether he has to kill his own family, his own brother, his best friend. He's going to do whatever it takes to protect this new system of justice that he created. Uh, he, you know, right before he killed your boy, he had a you know flashback of their dream as their their children, and he he made a commitment 
to his people. You know, he made a uh, commitment to protect his people. So right after he killed him, it kind of ended there. It showed you all the Hokages that came after him. So the, the kind of let you know the legacy did live on, even though it created all this chaos in the process. Um, and he doesn't understand how could Madeira have survived. He, he's like, look, I know for a fact. I killed this son of a bitch. I know for a fact. And somehow he survived it. Yeah, I remember when he captured Toby, he was this old weakling man, um, you know, you know, connected to that what, big ass tree or whatever, uh, siphon off life or, from it or whatever the case may be. But the question is, how did he get to that point? Who dragged him off the battlefield? Who hooked him up? Who knew this was going to come out the way it did years later? Uh, and it was only by fate of some sort that Toby landed in his lap. So, you know, because that wasn't originally like that. And he used Toby as his new life force to create more evil. Um, but, you know, we just have to see how this is all going to play out. He's pr pretty much broken down the whole story to Sasuke. And at this point, Sasuke has made no decision on what he's going to do. And now I think on the next couple of, you know, manga chapters, it's up to us to either figure it out, uh, which way will Sasuke go? That's the question. Is he going to go good? Is he going to go evil? Is he going to walk away, don't say anything, and come at a later time and date? Who knows? But you guys definitely stay tuned. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you think is going to happen, because at this point in time, <sighs> anything can happen. You guys, thank you guys for coming by and joining me on today's uh, manga chapter review. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, do your thing below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.